Good morning, good morning. 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, and what is unseen is eternal. Y'all, I want to encourage you to keep your eyes on what is unseen. And what is that that is unseen? That faith you have, that relationship you have with God. Cling to it. Cling to it. Okay, don't start walking by what it is that you are seeing, what it is that you think you you know uh, based on what it looks like and how it's been before. I want you to start basing things on what is unseen. Oftentimes we think that if we are in a place where we are missing the mark or we feel like maybe God is not pleased with us, we start acting as if we cannot access him anymore. Well, now maybe he doesn't want to talk to me or now it's not going to be good to talk to him right now. So I know he's not very pleased with me. I don't have much to say. Um, I don't have anything that's going to be holy enough for him. Um, any of that, I want to say to you right there, even in your mess, honey, he wants to hear from you and don't just make it a habit, make it a habit. I don't care if you are in something and you're like, Ooh, um, that right there. That's, that's, mm, I know he don't like that. I know he don't like that. I know he don't. Um, we want to avoid okay, what is unseen. We want to avoid our Heavenly Father when we feel that way. But I want you to start learning to go against the grain. In your heart of hearts, you know that you need God with everything in your being. And even if nothing in your flesh wants to do the things that you know he is calling you to do or asking you to do or asking you not to do, you still know that you need him and that one thing is that you don't want to be without him and that nothing works without him. So listen, I encourage you to continue to talk to God, spend time with God, even if you feel like you are missing the mark, even if you feel like you're not in the best place. Don't start shying away from the things that you've been doing to maintain your relationship with him because he's going to set things right. Drawing nearer to him can only do one thing, draw you nearer to him. So whatever it is that you feel like you're struggling with, whatever it feels like, whatever it is that you feel like um, you're missing the mark with, continue to spend your time with God. Don't don't stop. I know it might feel strange. I know you might approach thinking, "Mm, I don't know. I don't have much to say. Uh, uh, So Lord, hey, what's going on? Like, listen, whatever you got to do, Okay, use that as your time of confession, your time to talk about what it is that is going on. He already knows. And he knew before he called you, before any of this happened, before he created you, he knew. He knew everything you would be involved in and still decided, yeah, it's going to be good for me to create him. It's going to be good for me to create her. So I I want you to start making the habit of continuing to press past what you feel and looking at those things that are seen and going by what is seen and start um, living by those things that are unseen, okay? Go against the grain, continue to cling to your relationship with God, continue to talk to him. Because if there's anybody that can turn something around, if there's anybody that can set something straight, if there's anybody that can 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 speak into your heart and to your mind in a difficult season, it's your heavenly father. That is the one that you need to stay in contact with. Don't shy away. I encourage you, stay right there. I know it feels weird. Stay right there. Just continue to, you know, just continue to talk to him. I don't care if you feel like, well, when I get to talk to him, I'm still going to... Uh, Whatever I was doing, I don't, I'm going to be honest. Talk to him. Stay there. Talk to him. Don't stop talking to him. Don't stop talking to him. I promise you it makes all the difference. And that's one thing that the enemy wants to do is 
put you in a place where you feel like you're missing the mark. Once you get in that place, then he can start to separate you from God. Then he can start to say, well, that's a little too much. You know, he doesn't deal in that type of thing. So let's, let's, let's get you away. And no, there's nothing that can separate you from the love of God. And I know who it is that he's called you to be. You know who it is he's called you to be. You know he's called you. Even if you don't know where he's called you to, you know he's called you at least to himself and that he loves you so much and that he has great plans for you and, <clears throat> and that there are no better plans for you than the ones that he has. So stay focused on those things that are unseen. Live your life by those things. And even in that situation that you're in, don't stop talking to God. Don't stop worshiping. Don't start, stop listening to your music. Uh, reject all of those um, thoughts that the enemy will bring in saying you are a hypocrite. Why are you even listening to this stuff? Why are you even talking to God? Why are you even doing, you know you ain't even right. You know, and this is what God wants from you. And you do that and it matters and it means something and it's doing something. If nobody else sees you fighting, God does. Okay. If nobody else knows what to do with all the mess you are bringing, God does. So I don't care how messy. Take it to him and keep on taking it. All right. I hope you all were blessed by that. I have certainly been blessed by that um, word myself. God gives me these words before he gives them to you. So um, I thank you all for watching. And uh, thanks for spending time with me on Mornings with Sakina. Y'all have a great day. And I'm going to see y'all later.